They're sure coming, Adam. Yes, and Sergeant Tom Clancy out in front. Riding as if the devil was behind him. Sergeant Clancy handle this. Well, there he is, Steve. And if he grows up to be as good a man as his dad, I am proud to be his uncle. He's as good a man as his uncle. I'm proud to be his dad, Tom. You know how to do just about everything, Tom. Well, Steve, in the service of the Mounted, we must know a bit of everything. Besides, I've ushered a few men out of this world. Tis but fair I should usher one in. here. Have you arrested him? What are you talking about? Arrested who? Oh, uh, nothing. I just started uh, seeing all you mummies around here that uh, something had happened. <laughs> Where's Steve? One minute, Moran. What's wrong with you? You ride up here on the beat horse looking as though you've seen a ghost. Out with it. Well, if you must know, Sergeant, John Lowry, the prospector, has been killed. What? When? Where did it happen? John Lowry? Killed? Aye. One minute, sweet. Someone has come. Perkins and me were riding by his cabin. I stopped to borrow a bit of tobacco. I knocked at the door, pushed it open, and there lay John Lowry in the middle of the floor, dead, killed with a knife. Did you hear that, Steve? John Lowry's been murdered. Yes, I heard. Do they know who did it? Steve, you and John Laurie quarreled last week about the line fence. Yes, Tom. We did. Look here, Tom Clancy. You're not accusing Steve here, your own brother, of the murder. Moran, the fact that Steve is my brother must be forgotten. What do you know of the killing of Laurie? Nothing. Good. Did you touch anything, Moran? Not a thing. We just looked and came away. Perkins went on to the post with the news. Say nothing of this to Maureen, at least until after the doctor arrives. All right, McGregor. You've lost your knife, Steve. So I did. You see, I was sitting out some line sticks over back of Laurie's place this morning. Laurie's place? Yes. 
I must have dropped it. What the devil are you driving at, Dave? Your knife was beside Laurie's body when I found it. It's there now for the Mounties to find. I'd have taken it along with me if I'd have been alone. But Perkins was with me. Dave, you don't believe I killed Laurie? No. You've been framed. There's enough evidence to put your neck in a noose. And the only thing for you to do is to clear out until this thing is cleared up. Run away? I can't do that. Besides, there's a little boy just arrived. I tell you, Steve, there's the brain of a serpent behind this thing. It's well known that you quarreled with Laurie, threatened him. Well, yes, but you I... were up at his house this morning. There'll be witnesses to testify to that. Mark my words. And your knife was found beside the body. I can't run away. Maureen. My boy. Maureen will know you're innocent. And she'd much rather have you safe in the woods than behind the bars at Old Fort. I'll get a woman down to take care of her. You take that breed trapper Bordeaux with you and hit it for the upper reaches of Snake River. You know you can't have any fire water. The sector of this post is part of my job, to see that you red devils don't get any liquor. Now, if you want to trade for grub. No trade. John Lowry is dead. The news no come yet? Not yet. Come inside. The mail in yet? Not yet, Factor. Now tell me, Pierre. All right, MacDougall, I tell. It was like this. I saw Steve Clancy and Breed Bordeaux heading north about an hour ago. I thought old Steve had settled down since he got married. Yeah, he's been married a whole year. Like as not, he's hankering to ramble a bit. I guess he is. Well, so long. Steve Clancy was up John Lowry's way this morning. And he loses his knife. When the Mounties come, they will find that knife where I put him. Right close by John Lowry's body. Here's the mail, Factor. Shall I distribute it? I'll attend to it. What about that paper I gave you? Did you make John Laurie sign it? We. Oui, he signed. He takes some hard work, but he signed. Good. The old weasel didn't have a relative, not a living soul. This gives me title to his land. And the pitch blend deposits will yield millions in silver and radium. Blue, Sergeant. Now, don't touch it. We'll need a fingerprint. Well, that's Steve's knife. Oh, I'm sorry. You better let us relieve you and take charge of this investigation. No, McGregor. The little red book states plainly, no favorism or discrimination shall be shown. Well, I'll, I'll carry on. You stay here with the body. I'll send a wagon for it. All right, sir. What's this? A letter to John Laurie? To Jean Laurie. And wrote by a woman. Why you tell me he have no relation? Quiet. from his daughter. Listen, she says, imagine my surprise and delight when Aunt Martha brought me your letter. It is the first I'd had from you in five years. I'm terribly excited about your discovering of radium deposits on your claim. By now you have told her. 
The secret is no longer belong to just you and me. Wait. She's coming here. Of course, I shall come to you at once. I'll reach Old Fort almost as soon as this letter, as I am starting tomorrow, and have arranged to take the trade boat from White's Landing on Thursday the 10th. Thursday the 10th. That's tomorrow. Well, she must never reach here. <laughs> Bad for your brother, Sergeant. Not so bad. Beg your pardon, sir. No doubt Steve will be able to explain about the knife being there. Yeah, but it's worse than that. Steve was seen in the vicinity of Laurie's cabin this morning. Yes, sir. His line stakes run that way. I'll go bring him in. I know he'll clear himself. Uh, you won't find him at home, Tom. He bolted. Gone? Steve? Steve ran away? Yes, I learned that he took to the woods some hours ago. Breed travel by the name of Badeau. I'm sorry, Sergeant Clancy, but I was about to send McGregor after him. It's my job, sir. I'll bring Steve in. I can't let you do that, Sergeant. This is a hanging matter for your brother. I know my duty, sir. All right, Sergeant Clancy. Go get your brother. And bring him in. Yes, sir. It is a place called Moon's Landing. Trey Bateau all the time stop here for make the dinner. Where do we cook the dinner? Right here? No, no, Mademoiselle Laurie. In the woods, build the fire. A very nice place. Come, I'll show you. You? No, no. You rest. You got a long trip? We fixed dinner. Well, I'll make the coffee. You see? I covered the tracks. No one be able to follow us. My brother Tom comes after us. He'll find us. Follow the trail of a fish in the water. Come on, Bredo. Very quick now. We come to Moose Landing. Hello? We'll reach Old Fort this evening. Do you have some friend to meet you there? Mm, yes, my father, John Laurie. Matouche, when I tell you, you shoot. Oh. Get ready. The robbers! Quick, we find them!
shooting came from up trail. We'll head for the river. Come on. They're coming at us from every side, Bordeaux. It's a woman. This is my one chance, Bordeaux. If I can stop her, I'll try to get to the landing above Devil Falls. You keep close into the shore, and if the Maldives don't get you, meet me there. All right, I'll go quick. Hey! 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 Pull into the shore! Pull into the shore! Pull in! Pull into the shore!
Well, this is Mademoiselle Lowry and Steve Clancy. We go back now and tell MacDougall. He will be very glad to hear it. Huh? Hello. You both rest here while I build a fire. Steve, how did you get in that canoe? Well, well you see, I saw the girl in the water and I thought she might be in danger. So. But maybe I can help her out. There you are, miss. I'm Sergeant Clancy of the Mounted, at your service. Thank you. My name's Ann Laurie, from Montreal. I was on my way to visit my father. He has a cabin near Old Fort. And these renegade Indians attacked my boatman. Well, I got away, and this gentleman came to my rescue. That's right, Tom. We tried to make the landing above Devil Falls. The rapids got too much for us. So John Laurie's your father? Yes. Do you know him? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, this is my brother, Steve Clancy. You'd better take that wet dress off and dry out, miss. We'll leave you alone for a while. Come on, Steve. I'm taking you back with me, Steve. No, Tom. I'm not going back. I'm innocent. You ran away. And that looks bad. Well, I was frightened when Moran told me that they found my knife near the body. But I didn't kill John Laurie, Tom. And I don't know who did. Your knife killed Laurie. The knife I gave you last Christmas. I lost that knife near Laurie's when I was setting out my line, Steve. We've got to prove that to a judge and a jury. And do you know McGregor is also on your trail? Badly hurt. Quick, Steve. Get some water. Quick! 
quick, Monsieur. Now is the time to get away from your brother. You're right, Legault. Wait for me down the trail. Hmm. Here. Steve, pull some gum or pine pitch to stop this bleeding. All right, son. Huh? I'll help you. There's a pine tree. You take that to Tom. I'll try and get some more. All right. Oh, quick, Monsieur Steve. We go, huh? Yeah, we go. Here. Good. But Gregor's on my trail, too. Come on. That'll hold it. We've got to get this man to the old fort and a doctor at once. How far is it? Will it take long? I think we can make it before sundown. You stay here, I'll get Steve. Steve! Be with us, Miss Laurie. He's off on another mission. Help me with this man and his horse. <coughs> now follow me. Not very weak. Oh. We'll have to let him rest here a while. Oh. Here, undo his shirt. Sergeant, Inspector Cabot has an important message for you. Right. What happened? Who is the girl? She is John Laurie's daughter. Oh. She doesn't know of her father's death. So I say nothing about it. Very well, sir. Miss Laurie, this is Constable Kelsey. This breed is seriously wounded. You will take him into Old Fort at once. At your service, Sergeant. Miss Laurie will accompany you. I'll see you at Old Fort later. Thank you, Sergeant Clint. Kelsey. Oh. Watch him very closely. He's very weak. Get him.
We fool the Maori. We track back. We follow the creek. No see footsteps in the water. Right, but don't come on. good tobacco. Too good for a dirty redskin like you. Now get out of here. Mm. The girl, she never will come back to old Fort Black McDougal. Good. You carried out my orders, Pierre? Oui. And double luck we are. The girl, she go over the falls in a canoe, and we shall go Steve Clancy. Good. Luck is with me. The Lorry property is now mine. You in luck, Mr. McDougal? You mean we in luck, you say. It's 50-50, not so? That is the bargain. All right. We, then. That is better. Monsieur. Good. I think we better go over there and rest a while. I'm bought all in. It's all right for me, too. Hmm. Poor Steve. Trying to fool me, eh? She home. Go in. One more dog. Make a fire. You can find something to eat here. Trail of you, Steve. I think uh, maybe you, brother Tom, he, he go back to town with Mademoiselle Lorraine. Maybe. But if he did, McGregor would take up the trail. What's well, the McGregor, eh? He better not catch up with me. We eat, we sleep. And soon we have to go, eh? Yes, we do. Soon we have to go. Try to manage somehow, Miss Laurie. We must go on.
car. Marceline McGregor. In the name of the law, open this door. Laurie, we must go up. Bad fall, Miss Lori. Like the wonder that horse didn't roll over on you. Yes, I know. I, I just couldn't control it. Oh, I know. I tell you what you do. You take my horse the rest of the way in. We're over the worst part of the trail now. And I'll get this one. did you fire? It's my brother Tom. You might have killed him. I did not know. I thought he was McGregor. It's no use. May as well give myself up. No, no. Wait. They show you. You get away. from here. Don't lie to me. What's out of that rock? I do not know. I've never been in this place before. Very well. I'll have a look. Come here. Hmm, I thought so. Come on up. 
Steve. Come on up. All right, if you don't come up, I'll go down and get you. Steve. Steve. Go quick. Someone come. But how about you? They locked me up. You. Why, hello, Clancy. Why all the excitement? I want your horse, Dogan. You've got to have it. Well, now, wait a minute. You can't take that horse. Come back with that horse, hey! Say, what's going on here? Well, your brother Steve come boiling out of there and grabbed one of my horses. Which way did he go? I out there somewhere. No guard? There's a brief prisoner in there chained to the wall. You send guard until I send for him. You'll be paid for your time and your horses. All right, Sergeant. Yeah. do about it. I'm going to take you in, Steve. That's my job. Give me that gun. Tough to have your own brother after you. All right. Put the irons on me. I'll go back and face the music. I don't need the cup. A word over Clancy is good enough for me. You mean that, Tom? All right, then. On the word of a Clancy, I didn't kill John Laurie. I know that, Steve. But we've got to go back to Old Fort to prove it. Come on, let's get the horse. McDougal inside? Yes, he's in the office. Don't you ever knock at doors, Peter LaRue? At the door of my compadre? No. What is this you guard so jealously? Oh, the paper that John Lowry so kindly gave me before he died, huh? When we record these papers, we've got to wait a while. This paper is dated three months before John Laurie's death. Someone might get suspicious if we claim the land the day he was buried. Suppose someone learns these secrets. Suppose they find out that John Laurie's land is rich in radium and silver. Then what? Well, let them find out. The land is now ours, isn't it? And with that girl disposed of, there's no one to dispute our claim. And with Sergeant Tom Clancy out of the way. Well, I see you got him, Sergeant. All right, Steve. Inside. Steve Clancy, sir. Lock him up, Constable. An unpleasant job and quickly done, Sergeant. 
I have further to report that Miss Ann Lowry, a daughter of the man who was killed, is coming to Old Fort under escort of Constable Kelsey. What's that? The daughter of John Lowry? Yes, sir. She was a passenger on the trade boat from White's Landing. The boat was attacked by drunken Indians. Uh -huh. What's wrong, Kelsey? What happened? A couple of you fellows get this breed off his horse. Get him into the doctor. You'd better go on to the post, Miss Lowry. It's up at the end of the street. But my father lives a long way from here. And I'd like to go to him at once, Mr. Kelsey. Yes. But first, you must go to headquarters and make a report on that Indian attack. You were a witness, you know. Well, all right. I'll go to the post. We've got to move carefully. This paper gives me title to land that might be worth millions in mineral deposits. We can't risk a false move. Voila, he's she. She, you mean? Me, it is Madame de Lowry. So, you bungled it, you've lied to me. No, no. She went to the jaws of White Devil Fall. I see her go down. But you didn't see her come out. The constable Kelsey asked me to make a report about an Indian. I've attack. taken care of that, Miss Laurie. This is Inspector Cabot. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Laurie? Won't you sit down? Thanks. You had a rough trip, eh? Oh, yes, I did. But thanks to your men, it ended well. And now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go to my father just as quickly as possible. Please. Well, what is it? Something wrong? Miss Laurie, it grieves me to tell you this. But your father is dead. Dead? Oh, well, that's impossible. He wasn't sick. I just heard from him. He was killed this morning. Murdered two days ago. We buried him. Is it no Kill my father. We've made an arrest. Where's the man? I want to face him. The man accused is my brother. Not Steve. Yes, Steve. Oh no! I don't believe. I can't believe Steve planned to kill my father. Thank you, Miss Laurie. Will you go with me and say that to Steve's wife? She's out there on his ranch with her little boy, just two days old. His wife? Oh. Is it cause I'll go? I have a wagon load of supplies going to Post D tomorrow. The road passes Steve's place. You'll go in that wagon with Sergeant Clancy as your rest guard. Steve. Oh, Steve, here's a visitor to see you. I'm Miss Laurie. It is kind of you to visit this poor jailbird. Well, I'm just leaving for your ranch to tell your wife and the little baby that everything's coming out all right. Oh, oh, oh. I put in the best of everything. The government takes good care of the mounted. They'll need the best when the snow comes to that post. Put an extra blanket on the seat with the driver. Miss Laurie will be a passenger. Oh, Miss Laurie's going, eh? I'll see that she's made comfortable, Sergeant Clancy. Thanks. Keep up your nerve. Thank you, Miss Laurie. Goodbye. Goodbye. And make no mistake. This time, you've got that girl and Sergeant Clancy right in your grip. These times, they no get away from me. 
Ready, Miss Laurie? All ready. Up we go. Anybody, Dave? You're right, they don't. But the devil that did this thing has framed the evidence so that the monkeys will have no choice but to hang him. Unless we get him away and hide him somewhere until the real murderer is found. Now, who's with me? I am. All right, all right, stop your tools and let's go. Come on, come on. Come around to Ben. You know what to do, huh? Starting the pool. We're to try and get Steve out, eh?
lumberjacks are standing the post. We're going to try and get Steve out, eh? By that door. I go back and tell the boss. The girl you take to Moosehead Cabin and keep her there safe till I come back. Ah. Sergeant, the Indians carried off Miss Lori. Which way did they go, Bill? That direction. Well, they want to get far with her. Where did they get you? Through the shoulder. You better get your horses and get them back to town. Get that wound rest. Jackson are in an angry mood, Inspector. Yeah, we've got to stop them, McGregor. Moran! Moran! Bring Moran in here. Tell him I want to have a talk with him. Get back to it, Miss Doyle. I'll keep quiet. Come on in, Moran. The Inspector wants to talk with you. All right. Stand by, men. I ain't going and talk to Inspector Cabot. But he's got to free Steve. Where are you? Moran, you've got to get your men away from here. You're violating the law. We have nothing against the law or you, Inspector. But we're after is Steve Clancy. We know he had nothing to do with the killing of John Laurie, and we want to set him free. It wouldn't be fair to Steve to take him out. He's got to stay here, stand trial, and get his name free. 
But he's innocent. Well, we want to prove his innocence. McGregor! Let me talk to Moran. Bring the prisoner here, McGregor. We all know Steve Clancy. And we know he's innocent. And his poor wife is home safe. And we're going to get him out of this jail. Steve Clancy doesn't want to get out. He wants his name cleared by a judge and a jury. Steve. Tell Moran we want to see you cleared of this charge. The inspector's right, Moran. I've got to stay here and clear my name. Tell them I can't afford to be a fugitive from justice. All right, Steve. Just as you say. Can I go now, Inspector? All right, my man. Just a minute, boy. Just a minute. Just a minute. We'll all go home. Steve says he'll stay here. Until the law has cleared his name. Don't try anything like that again. Somebody will get hurt. All right. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Get on Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, men. The girl, Madame Del Lowry. She is at Moosehead Cabin, Mac Dugo. Good. And where's Clancy? <laughs> he bothers us no more. Carajo Clancy, he is killed. He roll over with the wagon. Good. That's great. The lorry property will now be mine. I'll be rich. Silver, radium. Why, for all the time you say I, Mac Dugo, it is we, us. You understand? Fifty, fifty. You'll get everything that's coming to you, Pierre. You mean we will get everything that is coming to us. Do you understand? What happened to you, Bill? Renegade Indians attacked at the supply wagon. Well, where's Sergeant Clancy and Miss Lowry? Indians carried off Miss Lowry, and Sergeant Clancy's gone after them. Renegade Indians, eh? Who's putting them up to this, I wonder? I don't know, sir. They look like bad Indians to me. John Lowry killed and his daughter captured. There's something bigger than we know of back of all of this. Sergeant Clancy said he would find her and bring her back. So he will. You better get to a doctor and get that arm fixed up. Yes, sir. Me watch white squall. You go up trail. See nobody come. You go there. How about me giving you a seal? Come on. I'll fix you so you won't handle a knife anymore. Give me.
here. If I happen to be back this way, I'll take it back to town. You wait here. I still demand his horse. Sorry, Ann, but we'll have to walk. Well, that's all right, Tom. I'm not tired. All right, Patouche. Get going. There's a terrible storm coming up, Tom. What do we do? There's a deserted cabin on the other side of the ravine, near the bridge. Let's run for it. All right. Come on, Matouche.
a terrible storm coming up, Tom. What do we do? There's a deserted cabin on the other side of the ravine, near the bridge. Let's run for it. All right. Come on, Matush. We'd better head for Snake River, McGregor. You're right, Joyce. If Clancy finds Miss Laurie, he's going to head for his brother's ranch. For the way a high cliff bridge. Come on. I thought we never would get out of that water, Tom. We had a tough time getting out, didn't we? That Indian prisoner. I wonder what happened to him. I don't know, the poor devil. If he got among the rocks, he's probably finished. As soon as you feel able, we'll try to get to Steve's ranch. I think we ought to start now, Tom. Hi there! Sergeant Clancy! Hi, McGregor! Miss Laurie. Sergeant Clancy, what happened? Plenty. A bunch of renegades attacked the supply wagon and carried off his story. I had one of them as a prisoner, but he got away from me. Well, that's too bad. You might have gotten some valuable information from him. Well, we better get to Steve's ranch with Miss Laurie. Oh, by the way, uh, how is Steve? Why, well, for a man accused of murder, I think he's keeping his nerve fine. Well, that's because he's not guilty. I'm sure it wasn't Steve who killed my father. We're beginning to feel doubtful at headquarters. I think when we round up these renegades, I have a feeling we'll learn something about it. McGregor, you and Joyce patrol the river and look for that Indian. I'm taking your horses. I'll send back two mounts to pick you up. Very well, Sergeant. Uh, the fire. Uh. Search the river good, Sergeant. Yes, sir.
Why, Tom, how's Steve? Oh, well, Steve's all right. Oh, uh, Maureen, uh, this is Aunt Laurie. How do you do, Mrs. Flanagan? Uh, how do you do? Oh, uh, Anne has been in the river, Maureen. She'll tell you all about it later. Uh, see if you can fit her out with some bright clothes. Why, certainly. Good. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but I must be going. I'll be back this way later on my way to Great Hawk Village. All right, Tom. Goodbye. Miss Laurie, you don't think that my Steve killed your father, do you? Why, certainly not. I believe Steve is innocent, and I'm going to help free him. Hello, Moran. What are you bound for? I'm on the way with a word of cheer from Steve to his wife. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, arresting your own brother for a crime he never done. We know Steve's innocent, Dave. You and I. But the evidence point to him, and the martyrs have to hold him until we can prove his innocence. The mounted. Ah. All you think of is getting your man, even if it's your own brother. It ain't human. Someone who knew father intimately. Someone who knew what he was working in. Pardon me, Maureen, for entering your boudoir. But by her talk, I gather this young lady is John Laurie's daughter. Yes, I am. This is Mr. Moran. Now, about the man who knew all about your father's business. I know the devil. You do? Who is it? Now, why didn't I think to tell Tom Clancy when I saw him today on the road? I'll go and tell him now. Wait. What are you talking about? Who do you mean? Who do I mean? Why, Simon Slade, the trapper. Simon Slade? Who else? Didn't he work for John Laurie when he was prospecting the land? Didn't he quarrel with him? Wasn't he fired off the place? Well, who is this Simon Slade? A trapper and a dangerous man. He worked for your father and quarreled with him. He has a cabin a couple of miles above here. But Dave... That quarrel was a long time ago. Sure it was. But what does that matter? You know what it'd be like, that cunning devil, to wait till he thought folks had forgot all about it. Well, we didn't wait for the police. You and I can go to this man and question him. No, I can't do that. Slade and I are bitter enemies. You're not afraid. Uh, 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 afraid? Not me. But Slade will shoot on sight. And if I kill him, there goes the evidence. No, this is a matter for Tom Clancy to handle. I'll go over to the post and see him now. Tell me about this man, Slade. He has a bad name, a bad reputation. There may be something in what Moran says. We'll have to leave it to Tom. Well, but if he's the man who killed my father, I'd like to face him. No, if he is the man, it would be suicide to go there. Maybe you're right. You lie down and rest now. If you get very excited, it'll be bad for you and the little baby, too. We know now that Greyhawk's renegades were employed in the attack on the supply wagon and the attack on the trade bateau. I'll go at once to Greyhawk's village That's and... no good. What do you mean, Batiste? Indians, spread the mounties. They see red coat come, they go hide. Oh, they can't hide from the mounted. All right. You catch him. They no talk. He's right, Inspector. I thought of that. When I come to their village, they'll not know me for a policeman. All right, Sergeant. You get after him in your own way. Yes, sir. I'll have a word with Steve before I go. All right, Sergeant.
Labette, which trail leads to the headwaters of the river? She goes down the way, Mademoiselle, past the river, up high cliff. All right, will you tell Mrs. Clancy when she awakes that I've gone for a little walk, and I'll be back soon. Huh. Hello, Tom. Hello, Steve. What's up? You're out of uniform. Yes, Steve. I'm going to do a bit of plainclothes work among the Indians. You hit on something? I think so. Keep up your nerve, old man. I'm on the job. Miss Laurie's standing by with Marine. Well, thanks, Tom. Go on, Steve. I tell you, this Sergeant Clancy, she is one devil. I leave him for dead in Yellow Horse Canyon. Engine come now and say Clancy's not dead. And he's get away with Mademoiselle Lowry. Don't you realize this is a serious matter, Pierre? You've messed things. Your Indians are a lot of bunglers. Where are they now? They wait for me outside the town. Hey, Fred, come with him. Think, please, get him. Gave Moran to see you, Factor. Well, Moran, what is it? I want to know when Simon Slade was last in town. Slade? What about him? You know, McDougal, I have a hunch that he knows something about the killing of John Lawley. It just struck me today. He knows more about John Lawley's business than anyone else. And didn't he quarrel with him? I'm off to tell the police to look him up. Now, uh, hold on. You may be right at that. Now, uh, here. Take a drink while I go and inquire when Slade was last seen at the store. Uh, pour your own. I'll be back. And... All right, I will. Listen, he's right about Slade. He may know something about those radium deposits on Laurie's land and is keeping quiet for some good reason. We've got to silence him with money. Or otherwise. I understand. I take plenty good men. Just in case you know what's the money. And see that there's no slip up this time. Like the time you went after the Laurie girl. No. I'm afraid that's where she's gone, Tom. Dave Moran talked about Simon Slade being an enemy of her father. She wanted him to take her there. And while I was asleep, she disappeared. How long has she been gone? Oh, about an hour, perhaps a little more. There's a chance to catch her. It's a rough trail upgrade, and she's on foot. Do be careful, Tom. Don't worry, Maureen. Simon Slade, come out of there.
Don't you move, Slade, or I'll shoot. Tom! Anne! Why did you come here? To find Simon Slade. Dave Moran said that he... Why, you shouldn't come here. Whoever killed your father would not hesitate to kill you, too. I wish to talk with that slave. If he tried to get away, we catch him. Hello? Tom! Renegade Indian! They're coming to attack this cabin. We're at the slave. Too many to hold off. I don't want them to find you here. What are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. There's to make a break for it on my horse. Come on. Please go Slade and the Laurel girl. We go catch them both. Quick. Go Slade and the Laurel girl. We go catch them both. Quick. Very glad to hear the good news. Many horses come. It is the Mardi. We go. Anne. Anne. Phew. That 
That was a close call. Close call? I'll say it was. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I wonder what happened to the Indian. Probably thought our plunge over the cliff finished us. So they gave up the chase. The only thing we can do is try to get back to Steve's cabin. Come on, let's get out of here. When we get back to Steve's cabin, I want you to stay there, where you'll be safe. No, Tom. I must help find the man who murdered my father. You've been lucky so far. But I'm convinced that someone is interested in getting you out of the way. Well, you're right. Maybe that same person is holding the letter I wrote to my father. A recent letter? Yes, he should have received it the day before I arrived. But it wasn't among the belongings and papers turned over to me by Inspector Cabot. Did you say anything in that letter about the rich mineral deposits your father had discovered? Yes. Well, I told him how happy I was to know we were going to be rich now that he'd found radium and silver. Hmm. I'm glad you mentioned that letter, Ann. It gives me an idea, a clue. Someone must have received it. It's possible your father never did receive it. I'll see what I can find out when I get back to Old Fort. Oh, Tom, I'm so glad you found her. And I was so worried about you. Yes, I owe Tom a great deal for finding me when he did. How's the baby, Maureen? The baby's fine. Has anything developed? Anything that will help free Steve? Nothing definite, Maureen. But Anne has given me a new clue. Oh, Tom. Is there any hope for him? Sure there is. Lots of hope. We know Steve didn't kill John Laurie, and I'm going to prove it. The truth is bound to win out. Now, now, don't you worry. We'll have Steve out of that jail before you know it. Well, I'll be going on. Goodbye for a short while. Goodbye, Tom. But be sure it's only a short while. Oh. How are you, Ann? I stay close to the house. Oh, I'll be all right, Tom. Please don't worry about me. No. Goodbye. Goodbye. get the supplies through, Hank. We've just got to get them through, Sergeant. Well, keep your eyes open. The roads are full of renegades. Well, here comes Sergeant Clancy now. Yeah? Well, Sergeant? I'm discovered, sir, that renegade Indians are after Miss Lorry. May I suggest that we have a man to guard Steve's place? Of course, if you think it necessary. Why should they be after her? She only arrived a few days ago. That's what I'm going to find out. I've got a clue. I'd like a complete report, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I am also returning to State's cabin. I have reason to believe he knows something about the murder of John Laurie. I believe you're right. You know Slade trades with the Indians through that renegade wolf thing. It's been reported, sir, that Slade supplied the Indians with fire water through wolf thing. Very well, Clancy. Proceed at once to uh, Slade's cabin. If you find wolf thing there, bring them both in for questioning. Yes, sir. I wish also to investigate a lost letter first, Inspector. What, here at Old Fort? Yes, sir. I'll need your help, McGregor. Sure. Anytime. Oh, uh, McGregor. Get ready to leave at once. Steve! Uh, oh, Steve! Hello, Tom. Hello. Any news? I just saw Maureen. She and the baby are fine. She told me to tell you not to worry about her. Oh, the inspector sending one of our boys to your place to sort of look after things. Oh, thanks, Tom. Well, I gotta go now, Steve, and change these clothes. We'll have you out of here soon. Keep up the courage, old man. I will. Uh, 
The rowdy girl get over the cleat. We have no more trouble with her. Bah, you handed me a yarn like that once before. Me, monsieur, this time it is correct. And the slave, he speak no more either. Slave and the girl, both of them? Me, monsieur, he go with you. I'll wait outside here for you, Sergeant. All right, McGregor. Well, Sergeant Clancy, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Bill. Hello, Pierre. Here's you, monsieur. What do you do with letters uh, that are not delivered? Letters? Oh, we keep him about 30 days and then send him to the return address or the dead letter office. 30 days, huh? Well, sometime, of course, in the winter, we keep them longer when the trappers don't come in for the mail. Uh, were you looking for a letter? Let me see those you are holding, will you please? Sure. Uh, who's the letter to? Perhaps I can help you. To John Lowry. I see it isn't here. No, there's nothing come for John Laurie. He was in here the day before he was killed. You're sure he got no letter? That's positive. About a month ago, there was some assay reports, but nothing since then. You'd be sure to know if anything came, wouldn't you? Well, of course, when I'm aware. About a month ago, there was some assay reports, but nothing since then. You'd be sure to know if anything came, wouldn't you? Well, of course, when I'm away, my Indian helper handles the mail. Mm. I just left, Miss Lorry. She tells me a letter she wrote never reached her father. It wasn't among his things which we turned over to her. You seem surprised, Miss Dougal. I am. Uh, you know the murderer, then? We're not quite certain. I didn't think anything would be turned over to Miss Lorry until after you discovered the murderer. You can't account for the missing letter, then? It must have been lost on the way here. Thanks, Miss Dougal. I'm going up now to question the Indians. Perhaps they know something. The Indians? Yes. They attacked the bateau in our supply wagon. We just captured one of the engines, Sergeant. We'll smoke the truth out of him right now. That's good news, McGregor. It may save me a trip. Come on. Blockhead, you nearly give everything away. I'm going to get that land of glory as if I have to get rid of everyone that stands in my way. No, not just you, monsieur. We shall get that land. It's 50-50. I'm in no mood to be trifled with. 50-50 if you earn it. Get that straight, Pierre. If that girl's alive, Slade is too. That girl had a life like the cat. One, two, three times I see her go down. Next time I beat her for sure. Well, you'd better. I'm not going to stand for any more of your bungling. Good work, McGregor. You're right, just in time. You think they know something? I think Pierre will bear watching. Perhaps we'd better look him up. Not yet. We need more proof, and we'll get it. I'm leaving at once for State Captain. Oh, Anne, please be careful. Moran says Slade is dangerous, that he's a brute. Well, there's no reason why Slade should harm me. He doesn't know me. I wish I could go with you and help you. I know you'd go if you could. But you want to clear Steve's name. And I want to find the man who murdered my father. Don't you think you'd better let Tom attend to Slade? Oh, Slade knows Tom. He'd be suspicious of him. Now, don't you worry, Maureen. Everything's going to be all right. You wait and see. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Look, someone come. Clancy, Sergeant Clancy. Quick, Wolfang, hide behind those curtains. I don't want Clancy to find you here. What are you doing here? Looking for trouble? Came for a little information. Where is Wolfang? I don't know where he is. Why? He left Greyhawk's camp with you. He must be here somewhere. You call me a liar? I am asking you, where is Wolfang? I said I don't know where he is. Now get out of my cabin. Come on out, Wolfgang. I said, come on. 